Today we will be talking about the various skin types. I think before we jump into skin types, let's talk about the fundamentals, the structure of the skin. Sure, please enlighten us. Yes, as you can see, there are many different layers underneath the skin. The skin has three layers. The first layer is the epidermis, which is the external protective layer. Now, epidermis cells gradually die, exfoliate and are replaced with new cells from bottom. This is called regeneration. It takes about 28 days for new cells to appear on top of skin. Do you know that we shed 500 grams of dead skin in a year? Oh my god, really? That's so yes. gross! Yes, I'm sorry to freak you out. The second layer of skin is the dermis. This is where the oil or sebaceous glands are situated and produces oil. The dermis is also where you find the collagen and elastin fibres that determines the firmness and lift of the skin. Lies and wrinkles appear on the skin when the elastin fibres or collagen become weak or lesser and the parts of the skin structure collapses. The hypodermis is the third layer of the skin which comprises of mainly fats to cushion bones and provide heat to the body. So Valerie, it all sounds so scientific, so how do I as a layman identify correctly the skin type I have? Good question. Now there are generally five different skin types, normal, dry, sensitive, combination and oily. So there is one important skin condition called dehydration that women living in humid weather generally are not conscious of. As a start, we can identify the different skin types by just looking at the skin on the surface. For normal skin, the natural oil in your skin flows at a normal rate onto your skin surface. So for those lucky girls out there with normal skin, they rarely show signs of flaky skin or an oily shine. They also require little efforts with their skincare routine to keep their skin healthy. But they may get dehydrated skin depending on the environment. I see. So what about dry skin types? Now, dry skin occurs when the skin is not producing enough natural oil to keep the skin hydrated and moist. For those with dry skin, they tend to have a tight feeling in their face after cleansing. Now, people with dry skin have minimal pores and they may look slightly aged and show signs of wrinkling before their peers. This type of skin needs both water and oil. For people with dry skin, they usually experience also sensitive skin where the skin can appear dry and delicate. Sensitive skin get irritated easily by many skincare products and cosmetics caused by fragrances, which is usually one of the key factors, colouring and other unnecessary additives. This resulted in outbreaks or itchy red blemishes. Oily skin, on the other hand, has skin that produces way too much natural oil. Skin looks shiny on the surface of the skin, particularly at the T-zone area, with enlarged pores, so skin appears coarse. Hence, oily skin is also prone to blackheads and blemishes. Yikes! I hate blackheads! They're such nightmares! Well, and lastly for combination skin, which is actually the most common of skin types, now it shows signs of multiple conditions. Oily T-zone, signs of dryness in some areas, usually the cheek and the forehead, and also pigmentation concerns. So, what about dehydrated skin since you talk about it so much? Mm -hmm. Are they in relation with dry skin? What is their relation? No, actually no. Dehydrated skin occurs when there's a lack of moisture in the intercellular system in the skin and the skin is unable to retain moisture. This is largely due to the damage of the hydrolipidic film of the skin, which affects the skin barrier. Now, and anyone, regardless of age or skin type, can have dehydrated skin. Now, as I said before, most oily skin women tend to experience dehydrated skin unknowingly as they avoid moisturiser and thus becomes a vicious cycle as their skin starts to produce more oil to the surface. Now, what they really need is hydration, aka water, to reduce excessive oil production. It is not about drinking more water, but using skincare products to supply water and trap this hydration in the skin to keep it hydrated. Dry skin is a skin type due to hereditary or harsh product usage. Thank you Valerie for all the information because now I really know what my skin type is.